Hello, I'm Henry Cressy, I'm Head of ICT for Cambridgeshire Fire and Rescue Service. Our organisation has a number of challenges. These are basically related to the number of systems we have within the organisation. Using this wooden block as an example, most of our systems come with a database and a user interface. In this case, I've looked at control and represented that. When we brought control into the organisation, it made significant changes to the way we handled our 999 calls and improved it no end. Once these benefits were seen, we decided to implement another system to manage all our assets relating to fleet and equipment. The fleet and equipment manager went and found another system which had a database and a user interface and again provided great benefit to the organisation. The finance director was keen to manage our financial resources and he bought a finance package, again its own database with the user interface. But part of this project also included the development of a point-to-point -point bespoke integration with the fleet system so that we could better manage invoices. It became quite evident that the answer to our business problems was to implement another application to manage that particular process. So fairly quickly an HR system was implemented followed by an availability system, a training records system, a system to manage our vulnerable in the community, another system to manage the premises we need to look after, and so it went on. Each of these projects had with it their own point-to-point -point integrations with other applications to help us transfer data and information. Current business processes are largely paper-based, and this causes us a number of problems. I want to use this ball bearing to represent the flow of data. For our incident recording scheme, we will need information from the 999 control system, we will need information about the staff who attended from our time and attendance. We will need information about the premises they attended from our premises records. And finally, we will need to know the equipment we used on that call. This is then stored in a further database, ready for our use or send in to the government. This madness can't continue. So we're going to deconstruct these point-to-point -point integrations. We're going to reduce the number of applications we have within the fire service. And we're going to talk to our key suppliers. And finally, we're going to develop a standard way of our applications talking to each other. We're calling this the UK Fire Framework. Our systems will come with an application programming interface. This allows us to access the data in our databases automatically. When this is connected using our framework, we get a consistent set of data. This provides the essential foundation by which we can automatically drive data across our systems using the Enterprise Service Bus. Once we've got to this stage, the hard work's done and we can now deploy those business processes we talked about earlier. This is the incident system and you can see that the ball bearing will flow nice and easily down the different systems without any effort and without any human intervention or only when necessary. The business process we're currently developing is around sickness absence from the organisation. There's a family of processes here. Not only do we have to manage the absence of the individual from the organisation, we also have to manage the effect that has on the organisation. For example, a fire engine driver not turning up for shift. And finally, if the absence is related to an accident at work, there will need to be a separate health and safety investigation. And that is deployed on this platform we can see the benefits of having a unified data. Cambridge is sorted. Not only has it got effective business processes, but it's got better quality data, and it's also got the ability to be more agile for future demands. This is going to provide more operational efficiencies to drive out savings and improve the public service. But there's an added benefit. If we can manage to do it, then we want to work with our partner organisations, be they police, other fire services or ambulance. And if they can create the same foundations to data that we've got, then we can actually share the business processes we've developed, reducing cost, improving standardisation, but also an ability to share data using the Enterprise Service Bus to communicate between the two or three organisations. Thank you.